Hey guys, this is Stream Interact War Veteran here, back with another video. This is going to be, um, my initial thoughts and stuff on the Traxxas Max that I just bought. Um, these run from anywhere up to like $550, uh, brand new. This is the color I got, I got the red. It is, uh, capable of 3S and 4S. I got the biggest 4S that I could get. Unfortunately, you cannot use the 4S uh 6700 milliamp hour battery unless you do some modifications so the biggest battery that this can fit normally is the 4s 5000 milliamp hour battery but with that 4s uh 5000 milliamp hour battery it will go 50 55 miles an hour right out of the box without any changing any gears but that's the front of the box Here is the side, and let's get rid of that light. It's got Max all-terrain tires, as you see, smooth aluminum GT Max shocks, which they are aluminum, but the, the cap and the bottom are plastic. Fan-cooled brushless motor, which it does have a heat sink on it too, which is not just a fan. The X Max style high torque servo. So the servo is bigger than the standard ones that you'll find in most of the other cars, except for the X Max. A uh, heavy duty drivetrain, as you can see there. Um, 16.8 volt of extreme power on the speed controller, or whatever that is. Or the voltage regulator. I don't know what the hell it is exactly. Uh, efficient direct drive with torque biasing center drive and Cush drive or whatever. I, don't, I have no clue what that is. That's the frame. Of course, you get plastic uh, drive shafts, but these ones are a little bit beefier. I will be upgrading them eventually. This is what the car looks like if you take the body off. Let's see. VX, VXL 4S uh, high output speed controller or whatever it is. It's waterproof. You got your standard controller. I will be getting a Bluetooth for this one. Um, the other side just shows the orange. Not too interesting on that side or that side. This side has some information on it. Now, as you see here, uh, with a three-cell, 5,000 milliamp hour battery, you can go 40 with the standard gear ratio. Um, if you change the gear ratio to 2646, you can go 45. Now, with the 5,000 milliamp hour battery that I have, with the stock gear ratio, it can go 55 plus miles an hour. And with that same battery, if I change the gear ratio to 2646, I can go 60 plus miles an hour. But here's the truck. <laughs> it is not light. It's almost 10 pounds, by the way, just so you know. Clipless body style. I love this red. <laughs> Originally, I said I was going to go with the orange, but I really liked how this red looked when I got there, so I just got the red. Anyways, it's just a color. There is a lighting kit you can buy that replaces... Oh, Jesus. This is a beefy bitch. Um, it replaces this back bumper and the front bumper and adds headlights and taillights. Um, the kit does have reverse lights, so the taillights are on normally, and then when you go in reverse, it actually turns on the white back lights. These are beefy tires, and the advantage of using these ones, since you see that center adapter right there, this truck can use any tire that has a 17 millimeter hole in the center. And you can put that adapter in there and run those tires. As you see, these are 5.5 by 2.8-27. These ones do have a rotation, as you can see over here. The frame, nice and beefy. I guess a lot of people do have issues tipping these over and breaking things. I'm not going to be using it to bash. I'm not going to be using it to jump a lot. I'm just going to be driving it, so I'm not a basher type person. But that's what it looks like from a frontish angle. The other um, bumper uh, will have the headlights right there that I'll be getting. Clipless body style. So you just do that. Clip it up until it clicks and just wiggle it off. And here's inside the car. You got fans on both. But like I was saying, um, 
It's hard to see from that angle. What a heavy bitch. But, uh, you can see the metal fins there. The aluminum heat sink. And it goes all the way up into up above there. You can see, if I turn the light on real quick, you can see right below this plastic part here, these fin fins extend up. And trust me, this thing needs it. This is a nice, this is a big freaking motor for these cars. Oil filled shocks, which are nice. Um, I will be upgrading because I want a better suspension. Um, I'm probably going to put these shocks out a little bit so it's going to sit a little lower, alleviate some of the um, rollovers, but both the speed controller and the uh, engine both come equipped with fans. They're pretty loud. Um, don't mind the mess, but I do have the battery charging over here. This is the biggest one you can have, guys, on that vehicle without doing some kind of modifications. Because the other one's the other one's taller and a little bit longer. So if you wanted to get that other one to fit, the only options I could see with that is to remove this restraint system and possibly uh, where it sits here. Shave these down on both sides after you remove these. And then you might be able to get that 6700 in there with a strap system. Which I will be trying to figure out if I can do that. Um, it comes with a normal one. Like for Rustler, there are VXLs and stuff like that. The little bit upgraded controller. Um, here's your quick start guide. Which isn't no big deal to me. Another thing that they're doing that they didn't do on other vehicles... See if I can find it real quick. They are now, in their newer cars, including a full breakdown sheet of everything in their manual. My Rustler uh, 4x4 VXL didn't have this, and neither did the Bigfoot. You had to go online and actually download them, but I like that a lot. All right, guys, if you have any questions or anything else like that, definitely let me know, um, and I'll see if I, uh, what I can do about answering them. I will be testing this a little bit later today, and maybe I'll try to do a small video on it and let you know what I think when I go out and actually run it here in about half an hour or so. All right, have a good one, guys.